Hello, everybody. Um, the U.S. Postal Service just delivered me some gifts from eBay. And those gifts are the Raptor RP1 radar system. So these are used. Uh, this is a used radar system just purchased. Uh, as you can see here, it comes there with the remote and two antennas these are k-band antennas also in the package i've got like six of these antennas so they're just old antennas off of a i guess an ex-police car so uh it also came with a wireless remote and uh some more uh, front housings and remote setup so I got that um, got like a bunch of uh, glass mounts so basically I've got probably three of these all in one lot off of eBay so I'm gonna go ahead and crank this one up and I'm going to do a fork test. It came with several forks. So, this one here says 35 miles an hour. And this one says 35. They're about the same. I've got some KA band forks, but it doesn't appear that they work. So, we'll start by plugging it up and turning it on. And I'm going to uh, just rearrange a little bit so you can see it and turn it on and I didn't know if this stuff would actually work or not I just bought it as a giant lot so um, yep yeah, I'll start with that so first thing I'm gonna start with is the 35 mile per hour and I'm using like a 12 volt DC adapter right here plugged into an outlet since my jumper box for some reason died on me I don't know what's wrong with it so we're just using this it seems to work just fine and as you can see it's plugged in right here so as you can see the wiring harness is all here so Everything I need is here. So I'll start by hitting this and I put it in test mode by pressing this. As you can see, it says test mode or fork mode. Let's see what it says. So it seems to work and I'm going to put it in reverse mode. I think I clicked this. Let me see. I think I just do this and it goes to reverse. So now you see it says rear. So I'm going to hit test again. So it's working. So now that I know it works, I'm going to put this in the car and we're going to take it for a test drive. All right, so I've got it all plugged up now. Hopefully the fan uh, doesn't cause a problem. If it does, I'll have to turn it off. Uh, I know sometimes it can pull up the fan, so we'll see what happens here. Okay, so it appears it's not causing a problem so far. So let's take it for a drive. All right, so it looks like right now I had to put it in patrol mode. Well, not stable mode, but another mode to keep it from saying what it thought my speed was. 
looks like it's pretty accurate. Let me turn on the air. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't cause a problem. So the air conditioner is not bothering it. That's good. So once we take it out on the main road, a little further out, we can kind of get an idea of what it's like with cars passing by. What's really interesting is, is with the sun out, it looks really good. It's like it reflects with the sun. It's maybe two miles off. See, I'm gonna have to see if I can reset it. Now I'm stationary. Multiple vehicles.
So they can see vehicles way down there. See if I can zoom in a little better out there. So now I have it as approaching only mode. So it does ignore everything else going away. So I could, I could put it in either mode. So that's only looking at cars going that direction now. Speed limit out here is 55, so he's only going five miles over.
I'm only running one antenna now. I'm not running an antenna in the rear, so. Looks like they're slowing down up there. does confirm that the speedometer is off by two miles an hour so that means that this is actually right my speedometer is actually wrong by two miles an hour so that's something I didn't know now I know